Riley, haven't gotten you in the vlog much lately. What are your... Uh... I put my makeup on this morning. Dude. Oh, I'm sorry. You always look so good. Thank you. What are your predictions for today? Um, it's going to be an interesting one. So, the... <laughs> so, sorry, to give you an update, if you're new to this, it's day 10 of the Quad Tandem World Championships. Team Great Britain has had a few mechanical issues, including yesterday, they had to get the internal parts of their hub replaced. Wait, Team... wait, cut, cut, cut. cut, 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 cut. Oh, you, sorry. Cut. Come on, man, come, come on. on. You know how to... Guys, I need you to do sorry. this before <clears throat> we start on, shooting. Sorry, sorry. Guys, so somebody on. put like, my glasses on yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, okay. For me, please. For me, please. This is Everybody, what we have to deal with. Okay, and scatter. Okay, scatter. Scatter, scatter clear. clear. Right. Yeah, so and anyway, I action. think it's going to be a good race. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I'm worried about the Brits bike. It's an opportunity for Canada to maybe get some extra time here. Yeah. And um, you only paid for a two minute interview. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. I just want to clarify, I, we have been camping, I have been growing a beard, but I am not on Team Canada. I know we look the same, so that, that's why I'm wearing a green shirt, just so you know I'm support team only. And uh, It's coming in strong. Well, yeah. We look like twins, except, except I have hair on top. Except you just look good. Do you have any idea how hot it is right now? 34 uh, degrees. Melting. And what do you have coming up? 4,000 foot hill climb. Glad I'm on this side of the camera. Don't envy me. This is not going to be fun. So like yesterday, we have Team Great Britain running their bike. I don't know what happened to it, but they had a hub problem yesterday, which they've replaced. And uh, Team Canada catching up right on this hill right behind them. The top of the hill is the end of this segment. There will be an afternoon segment, but this is sort of a hill sprint. So Team Canada can make up some room on Team Great Britain here. Team Canada only has a three minute lead in the overall race. And I would say they're trailing by three minutes to Team Great Britain right now. Holy smokes, the Brits are making good time on this run. They just have to get to the top before the Canadians. So to fill you in, if you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, they had to run the bike at the end of it, about 11 kilometers to finish the race. But Angus and Nat both have injuries. Angus is still running with the bike, but Nat does have a very serious ankle injury, so is falling behind. He's not a bad athlete, he's a fantastic athlete. He just can't run at the moment. This is the story. This is the whole story of the whole trip. And I didn't mean for us to build it up this way, it's just, it's all facts. The Brits are younger, they're fitter, they actually race bikes, the Canadians do not, but they have over 10,000 kilometers experience on this quad tandem, which makes it a proven quad tandem. Quad tandem. The Brits bought theirs pretty much sight unseen on the internet, and it's been great, it's been very, very fast, but they have breakdowns. And that's what long distance quad tandem racing is. Who can outlast the other? And if your bike breaks down, you break down, but I am not taking anything away from these guys. They are hustling. The Brits are badass. Yeah! He's coming. so much. And for those of you who weren't timing the difference between Team Canada cresting and Team Great Britain's bike cresting, it was 16 seconds. They hustled. Making the repairs? Yeah, I'm just greasing up this. I've got some special grease. Which part was it that went? Same piece as yesterday? Same piece as yesterday. So you had replacements of those? Yeah, and these are subtly different replacements. I, I feel like the story has changed. It's no longer a story of the underdog Canadians or the 
more like the old dog Canadians against the young guns. This is more the story of the determined Brits that will stop at nothing to make sure the Canadians don't win. They have fixed their hub, don't necessarily trust it. They have another one being overnighted from the maker of their bike, Commotion. And, uh, and, and help us get this bike across. We're glad to help out here, so, um... Okay. All right, well, I will let you go, uh, do the remainder of your, your ride here. Sounds good. And I'll get cracking on this for you. Which will be here tomorrow morning, so they'll have a brand new fresh hub, but they've, they've repaired it. They think it'll do okay, but if they cancel and say they can't finish today's stage, they, had, they get a 15 minute penalty. Uh, we're just gonna hope. Yeah. Um, so hope the strategy is increase the spring tension, which we've done already, and then pray. So the Canadians started with a 16 second lead and by the time we could get into the car and catch up to them, the Brits have already passed them. But can their bike hold on? What's there, boys? Keep going. You're stealing my shots, Danny. <laughs> You're stealing my shots. I gotta watch you. What's the rattle? The right. disc brakes up. Oh, hey. It ain't. Just keep sniffing. Thank uh, you. How long ago did this start making this noise? Uh, Bottom of the hill. Yeah, I'm working on the, the hill. They are having some serious bike issues, but they're <laughs> hanging on to get to the end of the stage and they're dominating. They're way ahead. Did you guys pick up my sunglasses? We did. We did. Hey. Thank you. Nice. We finished the stage. Yeah. Uh, we are fast. Well done, Nick. Yeah. When the bike works, your so we are extremely fast. How's that? Yeah, he's good. Woo. Nice leg. Oh, nice work, I'm you guys. So, awesome. awesome. so that's it. Amazing. Team GB takes the overall lead by two minutes. And we're pretty excited about it. Mainly because their bike held up. So tonight's campground is thank you to the generosity of Paul and Linda who saw us on the side of the road about six days ago while they were on a road trip. Then they saw us again five days ago and found out we were coming through Fort Bragg. So they put us up here tonight. Instead of in a campground, they have a great outdoor shower and a, and a hot tub. Uh, so this is where we are going to spend the night. We are back tomorrow, so make sure to click that red subscribe button down below. Thank you for joining us. You can donate at the link down below, and we will see you tomorrow.